Hey guys, I'm going to show you a real simple, quick, and inexpensive way to transfer an image, um, some artwork that you've done, onto a final piece. So, um, this is good for printmaking and transferring a, a drawn image uh, from a piece of paper onto a block or uh, or something like that. Um, it's also good for painting and transferring, a, again, a drawn or sketched image onto a canvas or wood board or um, a surface that's, that's prepped for uh, painting. Here's what you'll need. You'll need your artwork, a ballpoint pen. Uh, this is just a Paper Me Ink Joy pen, um, regular ballpoint. Something that you can, it, it's its so where you can um, bear down a little bit on it. So don't do like a felt tip or anything like that. Um, pencil may be okay, but you, you know, you don't want it to break or wear down and kind of get funky on you. Um, ballpoint's probably best. And so grab a ballpoint pen. Uh, you'll need the surface that you're transferring it to. You'll need a, an extra sheet of paper, um, preferably big enough for your artwork um, and the surface that you're transferring it to and then you'll need um, some charcoal and when I say charcoal I mean art art charcoal not a not a burnt piece of wood even though essentially that's what this is um, but artist charcoal uh, something that you can you can lay down a, a nice thick layer on so um, some of y'all will already see where this is going, but let's go ahead and get get through it. So I've got my wood board uh, that's gessoed and prepped for paint right here that I'm gonna be transferring the image to. Um, and I've got my artwork here. Now my artwork, I've drawn this thing three different times. Um, and this is the final piece that I have on this uh, tracing paper. Um, so what you'll want to do, oh, you'll need some tape as well. What you'll want to do is to make sure that your, your artwork has some tape on it, something to adhere it to the piece of paper that it's going to go on. So you'll want your artwork to be loose and, um, and able to uh, press against the paper. So go ahead and rip it out of your sketchbook or um, you know, get it prepped from wherever it is, that way it's just a single sheet of paper. Um, then you'll want to go ahead and grab an extra sheet of paper and what you're going to do on this one, you're going to make sure that it is big enough to hold your artwork on, the entire piece, um, because what you'll do is you're going to tape your artwork to the paper and then you're going to tape the paper to the surface that you're transferring onto. That way there's no movement. So I know that my artwork fits uh, uh, portrait-wise here. And so I'm going to grab some tape and just prep that. Prep it so it's ready to go. Okay, I'm not actually taping this down to anything yet. But eventually it will get taped down to your uh, final substrate, whatever that is. Okay, so I'm going to flip that over and this the sticky side is going to be up. Now this is what I'm going to throw my charcoal onto. And essentially what this does is uh, create poor man's carbon paper. And so you're going to go ahead and lay your charcoal out. Now if you're having a situation like I am where I know that my surface down here is not 100% smooth, what you can do is grab your sketchbook because your sketchbook has some give to it, um, you can get a smoother surface to pull that charcoal across. It's flatter, and, and that's what you want. Very flat, even pull of charcoal across your paper. Now, once you have the primary, and you can go and check to see that, yeah, that'll cover all of the artwork that I have here. Make sure that that area, your artwork fits within the area that you're putting charcoal down. 
okay? And keep in mind, charcoal is a messy, messy medium to work with. And so once you're done here, you're gonna have a whole bunch of charcoal laid down on the back of that paper. Now, you're not gonna necessarily want to put that down right onto your substrate or whatever you're transferring the image to. What you're gonna wanna do is go ahead and, and grab that and shake it off. What's gonna happen is since, since this is the, the poor man's version of, of carbon paper, what's gonna happen is you're gonna have smudges on your, your final piece, your final transfer. Um, but the line work should show clear, and that's what you're, what, what you're going for. The line work should show clear, then you can erase away or wipe off any of those other smudges, and um, what you're left with is your traced artwork. Um, so keep in mind, if you're doing printmaking, you're gonna wanna flip this image over, okay? You're gonna want to uh, do all of this mirror image, that way when you finally do your final print onto whatever you're printing on, um, it is correctly oriented. All right. So I'm gonna go ahead and get this in the position that I want on this piece. So you're just gonna have to eyeball it a little bit. And keep in mind that if, if you do the entire paper, you won't have to worry about getting your artwork fitted just inside wherever you uh, did the charcoal. You, you know, the charcoal will be all over, so it won't matter. But if you did like me, where there's edges left, you'll want to keep that in mind whenever you place your image. And what you'll want to do is get that tape onto the paper itself. That way it doesn't move. The tape is going to be flexible and it's going to move on you. All right. So I've got that, and I know I want my guy to sit about right here. And so that's going to be where I draw that line. And it's okay if it overhangs a bit. Um, what you're wanting to do is just make sure that with the tape, it's not going to move on you. Okay? And so if you're, um, if you're your printing surf or your transfer surface is, is tacked down somehow to whatever table you're working on, then you can tape it straight to the table. Or um, otherwise you'd need to go ahead and tape it straight to the, the surface itself. Okay, and so I'm just gonna make sure that this is flat. I'm gonna take one more piece of tape here and make sure I got the bottom, that way it doesn't lift up and shift on me. So once I got the artwork down and it's going to be pretty secure, I'm going to make sure that I'm, I'm, I put my hand in a place where I know I can hold it down and, and I'm not going to be in the way of myself. So I'm going to put it off to the edge here and that just keeps stability on the paper itself, make sure nothing's moving, okay? And then you're just going to start to trace and you trace and, and bear down a, a bit on your, on your tracing to make sure that there's enough pressure to, to transfer that, uh, that charcoal onto the surface that you're transferring it onto. So I'm gonna go through, um, on the pen, it may be helpful to get a different color pen if, you, if you've done artwork in black and you've already done ink or something like that. This is just pencil for me. But if you've already done ink, you may wanna get like a, a red pen or something like that to go over just to make sure that you can see that you've got the entire thing. This I'm using here is actually an orange pen. Um, but it's just what I had lying around. It's not, I didn't intentionally make that choice. So here, let's uh, go ahead and get to it. Okay, now once you're done with the initial tracing, <clears throat> what you're gonna wanna do is just double check that you've got every single line that you want to be have transferred transferred. So lift up on your bottom or one one of your single tape sides and just hold that down and take a look. Okay? And what you'll see is just like carbon paper, you'll see where those lines lifted off of your charcoal paper and onto your substrate that you're, you're drawing on. So I'm gonna pull this back 
and that looks good for me. You know, um, there's a few details that I intentionally left out. There's a few places where the paper kind of moved on me, and that's okay because I get the general idea, the basic shape and image there to work from. For a print, what you would do is go back in with a marker, pen, brush pen, ink of some sort, and and go ahead and, and define your image because that's what you're going to be either carving away or etching or whatever type of print you're going to be doing. Um, and so you, you'll want to go ahead and figure that out. But that's a, a cheap way of getting a, a, a good clean transfer without having to go out and buy carbon paper or um, eyeball anything or anything like that. Just grab your sketch, throw some charcoal on the back of a sheet of paper, tape everything down so it's not going to move, and then outline it with a pen. Um, so hopefully this helps some of you. Uh, I'm sure a, a vast majority of, of artists out there already are familiar with this and, and do it all the time. Um, but for those of you who this is a new technique, hopefully this makes things easier for you in your uh, artwork as far as your paintings, print, printmaking, or anything else that you'll use this for. All right, thanks.